a test oscillator for frequencies between uh, 340 kilohertz and 2.1 megahertz. Made with a field effect transistor, the BF245B, and with such a circuit you can test EF calls, for instance this one, or that one, and test whether they work on 455 kilohertz and whether they work properly or not. And uh, here you have the input from the circuit. Because it's a field effect transistor, you don't even uh, have to use here a capacitor parallel to that coil. So that's uh, very good, a good property from the circuit. And these two capacitors, this one and this one, set the frequency band where this oscillator works. So when you want to go to other frequencies higher than 2.1 MHz, you have to change these two values. They form a so-called capacitive voltage divider. Here we have a coil uh, in the source circuit. Uh, coils are always difficult, but in fact in this case that's very simple. This is the wire that I've used. It's thin wire, isolated, let's call it a pair, and 500 turns on um, a core from 3 millimeters and no ferrite. So you can see how that coil was made. Now in the middle of the screen, looks somewhat sloppy, but it works properly. Here the field effect resistor, etc. So you can test EF coils, you can also test other coils as long as they are in the range up to 2 megahertz. And that depends for a great deal here on these two parallel capacitors that are in fact parallel to the tank circuit. So you have a quite reliable uh, indication from the frequency, in this case for instance 2.1 MHz with this coil. So this coil was made for shortwave, approximately 8 MHz or so. So there is a more or less fixed uh, parallel capacitance or call it a parasitic capacitance parallel to the entrance from the circuit. But you have to take that in account and of course you can do all kinds of measurements in which you compare um, coils to what happens and to uh, the frequency that they generate. So a good oscillator and as a measuring oscillator you have to take in account this uh, parallel parasitic capacitance. Though it's a very useful circuit, you can do comparative um, uh, measurements regarding, for instance, EF coils, like these ones. Test them, write their frequencies down, compare them and uh, when the whole circuit, the EF coil, oscillates in this circuit, you can be sure that it is a properly function, functioning EF coil. That's the most important uh, property from this circuit. Here you see the frequency that's generated now at the moment. The waveform is pure. That's also one very important property from this FET circuit, field effect transistor circuit, they generate quite good pure waveforms. So this coil here 
with no parallel capacitance or only the parasitic capacitance generates this waveform and generates this frequency. So I hope this is a useful circuit for everyone interested in the radio, radio circuits.